Hey guys. Hey guys. Um, today is the day that I'm going to start my ABC challenge that Shabby Dabby Doo put on. Um, today, of course, is the letter A, which is acetate. And I couldn't find my actual sheets of acetate. So what I'm going to use are these sticker cases like things that stickers come in and they're they're plastic like acetate they're just not as heavy duty but it's all that I could find so I'm just gonna make it work so the challenge is to make three things within 30 minutes using whatever the challenge is so three things in 30 minutes using acetate for today so I have my phone out I'm gonna put my stopwatch on although I don't think this one is gonna take me 30 minutes um I couldn't really think of much to use acetate for so I'm just gonna make a couple windows in some pockets and stuff like that so I guess let's just get started. So I'm going to put a timer on my phone just in case it does take me 30 minutes and it will go off at the 30 minute point. So let me do that. Okay, so I have my phone set at 30 minutes, 0 hours 30 minutes and I'm going to start it and it will go off in half an hour. So the first thing that I'm going to make is I have this cute little pocket and I'm gonna cut a little window out of it and put it in my journal. This is my journal that I'm gonna be putting all of this stuff in. It's my 2020 journal, 2020 the year of better. So I just decorated this with some stuff that my mom got me for Christmas and it's, it's a pretty nice journal. It's got three signatures in it, um, a pocket with some of my, some of my goals and stuff for the year and, and my goals over here. And it's just, it's, it's pretty big and I don't really have much in it yet. So I'm going to make stuff for my journal with this challenge. So first I'm just going to draw a rectangle. On here that I'm going to cut out. So, so it has a nice decent sized window that I can put like a tag in or maybe I'll use this to put a picture in that I can swap out every now and then. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I do like it and that's what I'm going to do with it. So I'll cut roughly the same sized square, a little bit bigger on my acetate. And then I can just use my adhesive to stick it on the inside. I was having camera troubles earlier so I'm hoping that my I'm hoping that, that this video doesn't um doesn't crash like it has been this is the third time I've tried it so hopefully it stays working this time so I don't have to start this video over since I really can't do that and I don't have much time before I have to go to work so I'm really hoping that it stays working correctly okay I think that will work so let me get this square cut out couldn't find my exacto knife either so I'm doing it the hard way but that's okay it still works and works just the same Cutting it like this. So, cutting the square out of my um, pocket right now. 
And if I have any pencil lines on it after, or that like you can still see, I will just erase them. No big deal. Has anybody else done this challenge, or will anybody else be doing this challenge? I know she started it a while ago, but um, I just didn't have any time to do it. So now I do, and I want to do every single letter, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh man, I didn't realize that this has an extra layer that I have to also cut out, but that's okay. Sorry if I'm going out of frame, i uh not used to actually working with the camera, so... I'll do my best to keep myself in frame, and I, of course, I haven't done very many videos, but since I'm going to start doing more, I will be getting better at, you know, staying in frame. So, okay. So there's the, the window cut out for my pocket, and I have a piece of acetate that I'm going to stick over it. I'm all going to put it on the inside so you don't actually, like, see. So hopefully I can get this um, where I need it to be without the, without the, uh, the adhesive sticking to the wrong spots. So I have this, like rolling tape adhesive that I'm going to try to use for this. I think it will be my best bet. If I can get it open. Okay. So I'm just going to tape around the edges of it. Trying to find something I can use to tape on. Here we go. So I don't get any excess adhesive anywhere. So I'm going to tape the corners or the, uh, the edges of this. Actually, that didn't come out at all. Oh, I'm using it the wrong way. That's why. So, there's one side, and the acetate just wants to slide, so I have to carefully hold it down so it doesn't slide. Of course, if I had real acetate, it probably wouldn't, but, you know, you gotta use what you have. So here is the pocket, or the window for the pocket, and I'm going to put it inside of the pocket that I just cut out, carefully. And it looks like I have a lot of tape still on the outside. But I can cover that up with something. Maybe actually another piece of acetate. I might have to do that. So I'll just cut another little square out of the same size. there there so now you can still you can see like the edges of the acetate on the outside of the pocket oh. but that's okay it's still 
you can still um, definitely see through the pocket, obviously. So there's there's that. So that's my first one, and I'm gonna have to find a spot in my journal to put that. I'll put I'll do that after I make the other two projects. So the second one is gonna be similar, except I'm gonna do it on a, a sheet of notebook paper. I'm gonna cut it out of the front, cut a little window out of the front. So that way, whatever I have on this over here, you'll be able to see through the window right here. So that is what I'm gonna do with this for my second project. I think I'll make this one about this big up here. I'll just make this one a nice long window. There we go. Ooh, pardon me. Sorry about that. So I'll cut this window out. The same way I cut out the other one. And I'm going to glue this somewhere in my journal as well. I think this one might actually be like a fold out, so maybe I'll tape the edge, the edge of the inside of it to one of my other pages, instead of like gluing the entire page to one of my other pages. I don't have any of those yet in my journal, so I think I'm going to do that. So... That's the plan. Now that I get this square cut out, I'm going to cut out another piece of my fake acetate, about the same size. Well, a little bigger. But. So, just start it right here, make it, probably should have made it even a little bit bigger than that because the, the tape, yeah, that's what I'll do, I'll just make it bigger up here, so that way there's no tape showing through like I had on my pocket, so I don't have to double the layer of acetate. So, I have this cut out now. Maybe I should put it on the front. No, I think the back is better. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Yep, right there. So, that'll work perfectly. So, we'll get this taped. And then with this leftover acetate, fake acetate, I might um, do some more stuff with it. I haven't really decided exactly what I want to do with the leftover stuff. Uh, well, that didn't come out well at all. What the heck is going on? My tape is not cooperating. Okay, there's one side that's pretty much stuck there. There we go. Looking a little better this time. A little, not a lot. I 
I figured that this would be better than using a wet glue. So that's why I'm using it. But it, it worked good when I used it yesterday, but it just must not like this plastic because it is not sticking. It's stuck to this paper, of course. So might have to use my wet glue. One more side. Thankfully for my last project, I don't need this adhesive. I will be using wet glue, so I don't have to worry about this. Not sticking to the plastic very well. Okay, so I got my plastic, and I'm going to carefully tape it around here. So that way I have a nice big window for whatever I decide to put on the back side. Say I put this dog. So I can see the dog through the window. Now I'm going to um, adhere that to my journal. Afterwards, I'm also going to erase all of these pencil lines because that's not a pretty sight. So we get these all erased, ready to go into my journal. It actually kind of erased onto the acetate, <laughs> but that's all right. I can get that off. Okay, so there's project number two. Here's project number one. Now, project number three is much simpler. So I have this pack that came, it had, it had stickers in it. So it opens up on the bottom like this, like a pocket. So I'm just going to glue this part up here into my journal. So that way it will like open up and I can use this pocket to, you know, put stuff in. And whatever is in it, you'll be able to see see through it. So it'll be like a um a pocket, but you'll be able to see what's in it. So let's find some pages in my journal to put these three things in. Now I already had an idea of where to put the big one, because it is kind of big, I'm going to put it on this nice big piece of paper. So I'm just going to glue it right here. And it will be a really cool pocket that flips up and, and you can see through it. So I have my Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to get that glued in. And if this doesn't glue very well, then I will just use washi tape. Because I don't exactly know how well this plastic stuff will stick to the glue. But I'll try. I need to close my fabric tack before it leaks everywhere. I have some kind of, I have like an air bubble in it. And it's, it's, it's always leaking. So... There we go. Just let this dry in here. So there's where that's going to go. And then my other two. So I have I have this pocket that I can put stuff in. I like that idea a lot. Um how about we put, let's make this, we'll make this a tip out right here. Sorry, you can't see that. Let me move my journal over. So I have this, just this plain yellow piece of paper over here. And on this side, I'm going to put a... 
piece of washi tape right here so it sticks to there so that way I have a a fold over so it can just get folded right there so you can fold it out and do that now I didn't think about that earlier so I didn't bring any washi tape in with me but I do have some sitting on my desk I think I'm going to use this washi tape it's like a rainbowy lines it's pretty cool so I'm going to use that to adhere this paper to the yellow paper so we get a nice long strip that might be too long but we can fix that oh no my tape is sticking to itself okay so we'll just tape it right here if I can I should have went with a smaller piece of tape first so I can hold it correctly but yeah a little bit too long so we'll just rip it right here perfect so now I have my window right here that you can see through that I have this puzzle piece big puzzle piece and I just I can fold it and see whatever's in here and then fold it back into oh no it's too far over so let's pick it up and move it move it a little closer to the edge of the page since there's not enough room for it to fold back it's a good thing about washi tape not being so sticky is you can easily pick it up and move it back so there we go perfect now see right here you can't really tell that it has a flip out which is kind of cool it's like a hidden treasure so I have this extra piece of washi tape that I'll probably use for something later and now for my little pocket I don't know where I want to put it I think I'll just put it on the maybe over here maybe on the corner of this blue page right here let me get rid of these pencil lines as well oh I can't because I taped over it hmm that was a mistake on my part but that's okay so maybe I'm actually gonna make it a double pocket I'm gonna keep this pocket right here and I'm only gonna glue around the edges of the three edges so I can have two pockets in one or maybe I'll make it a tuck instead of a pocket. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll make it a tuck and it'll have its pocket. So I'm only going to glue the two adjacent edges, not th the three. So which two do I need to glue? This one. Glue this edge. Glue the bottom. And it'll be perfect for a nice tuck. There. So there's my pocket with a tuck. and we're good to go so how long did that take me how much time is left on the timer seven minutes you can't really see that because of the glare but there's seven and a half minutes left so i think that's a success um that, so that was my first abc letter challenge and i will be back for another with another video tomorrow um i've been waking up a little early before work so I can have some time to um, do these things. And today was the first day that I did it. And I almost went back to bed. But I'm glad that I didn't. I'm glad that my computer let me make the video. Even though it crashed two times before. So thank you computer. And I don't know how long this is going to take to upload to YouTube. So I might have to wait until 
later tonight, but, you know, it's, it's 7 a.m. Eastern Time right now. I have to go get ready for work, but I hope that you enjoyed my simple, simple acetate projects. Um, so, I guess I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.